ever tell you boys about the time I was lost in the Congo and became a, a living god for a few days? Seriously, it's a good one, and it's true, entirely true. Many, many years ago, I was selling camping supplies in East Africa. <laughs> uh, my lord, it was wild. The massive boys, uh, them Congo Indians, <laughs> average nine feet tall, some even bigger. <laughs> now, we was riding down the river, you know, when suddenly our boat erupted into flames. Uh, the rest of the crew, they, they was eaten by hippopotamuses and rhinoceroses. I survived, you know. <laughs> I got taken to a, a village in the trees. Uh, they'd never seen a white man before, and as luck would have it, they, they had a witch doctor who made a prophecy that a god would turn up floating on the river, white as a cloud. <laughs> so they made me a god. <laughs> and it was fun for a few weeks. <sighs> Uh, then they tried to marry me off to the chief's daughter. Either that or... Uh, sacrifice me to another god. <laughs> when I said I'm not the marrying kind, uh, they wanted to kill me and feed me to their pigs. <laughs> well, I ran away and, well, I spent weeks in the jungle. <laughs> Gorging off giant cockroaches. Oh, God. True story. I promise you. The way I see it, ain't no good in worrying about what may be. Worry about what you, for you got Arthur. and ain't got, and none of you got nothing to worry about. Hey. Just like my daddy told me. He said, son, don't worry about the future. Okay. Worry about today. And I said, what do you mean, Pa? He said, well, you're gonna get a beating so hard, you'll be lucky to even see tomorrow. <laughs> he was right. Damn nearly killed me, but it taught me not to watch women in the outhouse and get caught. It also taught me not to worry about nothing other than that which is gonna happen. Once you fought real monsters and got away alive, you head back to land and you count your blessings, sir. Monsters? Monsters. Whales. Whales. Whales are like kittens. You stick them with a harpoon, and you scoop them up and you head home and you act tough. That's easy. No. Real monsters. And sharks. Sardines. <clears throat> Sardines, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Sardines. Any real seagoer will tell you. Boys hunt whales. Men hunt sardines. It's not the size. It's the number. One mistake, and they'll swamp you. I've seen 300-pound men eaten alive. I once saw a Portuguese wrestler crushed by a net that ripped... It's the sheer volume of them. Brutal. Brutal business. You learn a new thing every day. Exactly. See, did I ever tell you boys that I once thought about going to sea? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the honest truth is that I was in love with the captain's wife, and she was in love with me, and, well, we were, we were going to sail to Brazil and, and raise cattle. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, I got drunk. Missed the boat. I mean, literally missed oh, the boat. Yeah. By Hello. the time I got to the docks, it was gone. <laughs> it happens. It happens. I ain't being a very good man. I know that, but right now, as I approach my reckoning, Guess one thing I can do is try to teach you boys about the many errors of my ways. I ain't repenting. Except for one thing. 
I wish I had acquired wisdom at less of a price. Except my head was too damn hard to learn quicker. Stupidity is all I am sorry for. Worst stupidity of all is not listening to them as knows better. <laughs>